Hi Virgos and welcome to Intimate Goddess Tarot. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot nor will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at IntimateGoddessTarot at gmail.com. No. Okay, so let's get your reading started. Here we go. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from April 5th. Through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Okay, here we go. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love. Well, I'm going to go write it and take it. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love. Nope, that wasn't supposed to come out. That was my hair. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th through the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th to the 11th, 2020. Come on, guys, talk to me. Please tell me about Virgos in love from April 5th to the 11th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in love. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. Let's see what this is all about. So we have the Emperor and the Six of Pentacles. Justice and the Two of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So some of you guys could have been dealing, I see a lot of Earth here, like mad crazy. Uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo, Capricorn right here for the King of Pentacles. You guys could have also been dealing with an Aries, uh, a Libra, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. So, so, I'm picking up, I'm, what I'm picking up right here, straight up right here, off the back. You build, you're dealing with somebody that's a boss. This is a boss right here. This is the emperor. The He's a boss. He's in charge. He runs the whole entire empire. He likes things done his way or the highway because he has to get things done his way. He likes to have the last word. And then he's also stubborn as well. And, um, you know, just... I'm getting, I'm picking up that ego, that pride, the ego. I'm picking that, I'm picking that up. But whoever this person was, they could have been crumbing you. They could have been crumbing you. Things were not balanced between the both of you guys. It was not an equal give and take. It was not fair. 
blah, 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 blah. You already know the whole entire story because we already went through this several times. You already know. Things were not fair between the both of you guys. And the scales near here, need, the scales need to be balanced. Things need to be balanced. And what's, and what's funny about it is that we got justice and we got the two of pentacles. And as you can see, she got the scales in her hand and he has two pentacles in his hand. So there's a balancing act here that needs to take place. Somebody here needs to learn how to balance work and life. Because somebody don't know how to balance. Because if you're dealing with a boss right here that has lots of responsibility, this person needs to learn how to balance work and life. Or if they just have somebody else on the side, somebody got to go. Right? Simple as that. And then we got the king of pentacles here, businessman. Could have, or, you know, off top of his game, could have been, you know, CEO, manager, director, you know, great provider, great credit. And they're coming in as a page, making an offering to you. Because they could be feeling left out by you. They could be feeling left out by you. But let's find out what's going. Let's start clarifying. Because it's like I'm really interested to know about this emperor. I'm really interested to know what's up with this emperor right here. So let's find out what's going on here. Because for some of you guys, this is going to be a broken record. Seriously. <laughs> Just saying. Because it sounds like a broken record already. It's like, can we please flip it over? But let's find if anything new is coming up. It's coming up. So let's find out about this emperor. Please give me more information on the emperor. Why is this emperor here? Please give me more information on the emperor. Please give me more information on the emperor. Why is this emperor here? Please give me more information on the emperor. Please give me more information on the emperor. Why is this emperor here? Please give me more information on the emperor. Please give me more information on this emperor. Why is this emperor here? Please give me more information on the emperor. Please give more information on the emperor. Please give me Please give more information on the emperor. Please give more information on the emperor. Oh damn. Please give more information on the emperor. Okay. We have the sun. So you make this person happy. You make them happy. They're happy with you. And we have the king of uh, the king of swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could be dealing with a Leo. And stubbornness right here. This is stubborn. This is somebody that's straight up stubborn. Stubborn. You got the king of swords. The king of swords is somebody that's an authority figure. That um, They could be a cop. They could be in the military. And they could be in a management position, you know, leader. Uh, they could be a director, manager, you know, stubborn. They like to have things done their way. Always got to be in control, just like the emperor. Always got to be in control. And the king of swords, he's the same way. Got to be in control. So I'm picking up straight up pride. I'm picking up pride and ego and stubbornness like mad crazy up in here from this emperor. So you guys were dealing with somebody that was like this. Okay, and but even even though that they was uh, they was all into themselves because I had to be them because they had to be right. So you still managed to make this person happy. You still managed to make them happy. They were happy with you, and we have the chariot here. So you some of you guys could have been dealing with a cancer just as well, and they want to move forward. They want to move forward. And we have the Ace of Pentacles here. They want to move forward and they want a new start. Because you made them happy. You you guys probably made each other happy. I'm not going to just say you. You guys could have made each other happy here. I mean, even though they was crumbing you. Well, you wasn't all that happy. Because they were crumbing you. They were more happier than you was. But let's keep it moving. Okay, let's find out about the Six of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Six of Pentacles. 
Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I got the Seven of Cups here. I got the Lovers. I got the 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 Nine the Nine of Swords here, and I got the Queen of the Queen of Wands in reverse. So. This person could have had options. With the Seven of Cups and the Lovers here, this person could have had options. They could have had options and uh, they were confused. You know what? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be straight up with you about this Seven of Cups here. Hold on. About this Seven of Cups right here. I am like, honestly, I am like so tired of this lame ass excuse of them being so called confused because when they wanted some ass, they wasn't confused at that point, was it? Oh no, they wasn't confused because they knew exactly what they wanted at that point, right? But all of a sudden, they all confused. Like, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know what to do, what to do. Oh yeah, now your ass is confused, right? But when you wanted that ass, you wasn't confused at all, right? You knew exactly what you wanted, right? Yeah, that's what I thought, right? Didn't know then, but now you know, right? Busy walking up into your house and there with a big old smile like, I'm getting me some ass today. Yeah, I'm getting me some ass. And then be walking out of your house thinking that they did some damage. Knowing their ass probably didn't do shit. And you probably faked the whole entire thing. <laughs> and don't even lie because you know some of you guys be doing that shit. You know, but it's true though. You know, they so-called confused now. They were so-called confused, but yet when they wanted that ass, they wasn't confused at all, right? Oh no, you wasn't confused at that point. You knew exactly what you wanted, but now your ass is so confused. Now you can't figure out what the fuck you want. Man, please, confuse my ass. <sighs> Whatever. I'm sorry. I ain't buying that shit. I ain't buying it. But... This is what the cards say. So, mm, this person could have had options. Let's go over there. This person had options and they didn't know who to choose. They didn't know who to choose. They didn't. So this is them having anxieties or worried, restless nights and everything. But you know what? Because... Uh, because we got the Queen of Wands here in reverse. What, was it reverse? Hold on. Oh no, it, wasn't, it, was, it was upright. Because this person, they feel very passionate about you. They, this person finds you very sexy, which we already know this. They think you are ambitious, bold. Uh, you go after what you want, I mean, which is ambitious which I just said, you're bold, you're beautiful, you're sexy, you're smart, you're sassy. I mean, shit, we already know all this. It's like, Inez, tell me something I don't know. You're already telling, you, you're telling me something I already know. I'm like, okay, let's see. Let, let me see. What is it that you don't know already about the, let's see, Queen of Wands. Okay, we already know that we sexy. We already know that we bold. We already know that we ambitious. We already know that we're on top of our game. And we already know that we're very independent. We already know this. So let's see. We already know we I mean, we know that already, yeah. We know that, yeah. Mm uh some of they, they like the fact that you could be nurturing too. 
you know, you know, Virgos, they could be, you know, you guys could be nurturing. Yeah, yeah. When you want to, right? You could be nurturing and loving. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm nurturing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but either way, they, I mean, they think you're the bomb. I mean, I'm telling you something that you already know. So either way, this person, they could have had option. They didn't know who the hell to choose. But yet they find you very attractive. And they think you're bold and passionate. And they like that about you. They find that very attractive about you as well. I mean, even though they're stubborn as hell. And they're all into, you know, they got their head up their ass, period. I mean, because they're all into themselves. The ego and pride and all that shit. They just basically got their head up their ass. Even though they, even though it's all the way up in their head is all the way up in their ass, they still find that very attractive about you. That you're very independent. That you're independent and you really don't need them for anything because you got this. I don't need you. I got this. And they find that very attractive uh, about you. That's one of the features that they find about you that's very attractive. That you go after what you want. And... You're very ambitious. You're bold. They love it. So let's find out about this justice. Please give me more information on justice. Why is justice here? Please give me more information on justice. Why is justice here? Please give me more information on justice. Please give me more information on justice. Why is justice here? Please give me more information on justice. Why is justice here? Oh, some of you guys could have been dealing with a Gemini or with a Sag Leo Aries. Please give me more information on justice. 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 Please get 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 more information on justice. And we have the two of wands. That's them trying to make a decision. And look, king of wands. I told you this person feels very, this person is very attracted to you. They feel very passionate to you. And the king of wands, he's quick to put a ring on your finger. Oh, yes, he is. He is quick because he's one of those passionate kings. Girl, oh boy, he will love you up and down. Mm, mm, mm. And he is quick to put a ring on that finger. Yes, he is. Uh-huh. And look. We got a match here. There's a match. We got a match here. I mean, you, some of you guys were meant to be. Some of you guys, you know. I don't know. You have to figure that out when you're with that person. And look, we got the six of swords. So this is something. They're leaving something negative behind. Because right now, they're trying to make a decision. They're trying to choose a new path. They want to take on a new path. They feel very passionate about you. Because this king is looking directly at the queen. He's looking directly at her. So, he wants to come towards you. And at the bottom of the, of the deck right here, we have the hair font. I'm going to get more for justice. Please get more information on justice. Please get more information on justice. Why is justice here? Please get more information on justice. 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 Okay. So I got the nine of pentacles. This is you, Virgo. Because for me as a reader, the Nine of Pentacles is a Virgo. Why? Because everything I just finished telling you. You're on top of your game. Yourself, you're independent. You're strong. You got your head on straight. You don't need nobody to come in and take care of you. This ain't no Captain Save-A-Hope. 
Okay, I got this. Okay, and that's exactly how she's looking. You see, you see how she's looking. She got her head turned. She's like, look, I got this. I don't need your help. I could pick this corn all by myself. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna pick these pentacles too. Okay, because I got this. I don't need you. Okay, you're just an addition for me. I'm fine. Okay, you're an addition to what I already have because you're stable. You're on top of your game. You're fin uh, you're financially, like I said, you're stable. You are. You probably got a good career, good income. You know, you're self sufficient. You don't need nobody, and you're content being single. And they continue to see this about you. They see this shit. I mean, I'm telling you, they see all this shit about you, and they're attracted. This shit is like this shit is turning them on. They loving it. Look, that's what I'm saying. The King of Wands. He's looking directly at the king. The way he's laid out. If I could show you, I will show you, but I can't because the way my phone is. So the king, he's looking directly at this queen like this. The queen, she she just sitting there looking all sexy like, whatever. I got this. And he's just sitting there watching her like, damn. It's, I mean, it, this shit is too good to be real. And he sees and he's attracted to it. And, and you're like, I got this. I don't need you. You know, I mean, you just be an addition. I'm, I'm stable. I'm good. I'm single. I'm good. And, and it's like, and this king, he sees it. And he's like, wow. And then we got the three of pentacles. So now they want to cooperate with you. Now they want to cooperate with you. Because remember, they wasn't uh, cooperating with you at one time. They wasn't meeting you halfway. They wasn't making adjustments adjustments to their schedule because they was always too busy doing this, doing that. Mainly it was work because I got the emperor here and the emperor runs the empire. And then the king of pentacles, he's a businessman. So, and he has great credit. So most likely this person that was all into their job, all into, the, into themselves, and they never had time for you. They was always working. Always got to do this. Always got to do that. You know, they, never, you know, they was basically crumbing you. That's basically what they was doing. They was being stubborn. and But now they want to cooperate with you. Now they want to cooperate with you, girl. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. They starting to see this. Whatever they didn't see in the past, they starting to see this now. They're like, damn. Virgo's fucking sexy as hell. And she's and, and they fucking successful, stable. Virgo don't need me for sure for shit. I like this shit about my Virgo, because guess what, my Virgo, this is my pre empress. Remember, we have the emperor already there. This is my pre empress. This is her before she got married. This is her when she was single. She was already abundant when she was single. The emperor was nothing but an addition. That's all he was. Because she didn't need him. She got everything. And that's you, Virgo. You got this. You don't need them. Just letting you know. And they see this. And they're loving it. Just like the McDonald's theme song. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just, hey, I'm just calling it as it is. Hey, I'm just calling it as it is. So let's find out about the Two of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Two of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Two of Pentacles. You know, and, and that's the thing. They want to come back and they want to make things right with you. Look, at the bottom of the deck, where we have the Ace of, uh, not the Ace of Fool. We got the Fool. Check this out. So we have we have the two of pentacles, right? That's juggling. That's juggling. That's somebody there juggling. 
juggling work life, whoever on the side trying to make a head over heart decision. That's still a juggling act because you can't make up your mind. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. So this person when so this person was they they was coming across to you emotionally unavailable, right? This is how this person was coming across. Emotionally unavailable because like I said, they were juggling. They were juggling. They was crumbing you. So this person was coming across emotionally unavailable. You guys could have been dealing with an Aquarius because we have the star here. But we have it in reverse. So you guys could have gave up faith. You guys could have lost faith in this whole entire connection with this person. Because we got the three of wands in reverse. You're no longer waiting on their ass. You're not waiting on them. Because you lost faith on them. You lost faith in this connection because they was coming across emotionally unavailable. They basically had nothing but a bunch of excuses. They were so-called confused. But when it came time for them to get some ass, they wasn't confused at that point, was they? No. But they were. But either, but either way, claiming that they was confused or whatever. Whatever. Ex they had excuses. Whatever. But you got tired of waiting on them. Because you gave up on this. You you basically lost faith in this. They was coming across unemotionally unavailable. So what you was doing? You gave up on it. And yeah, because look. The nine of wands in reverse. This is you giving up. You guys gave up. You stopped waiting on them. You stopped waiting on them. You lost faith. You basically gave up on this. You get and they're seeing this. They know they seeing this. They see that your ass gave up on them. They seeing this. They sensing it, but and in the same time they want. See, every time I look down at these cards, I always see the the king of the king of wands uh, staring at this queen. So this person could be uh, this person could be spying on you because for some reason I keep seeing this king of wands. The king of wands stands out and he's looking directly at this queen of wands, looking directly at her every time I look down. So this person could be watching you. This person could be really. This person could feel very passionate about you. You could really turn this person off. You guys probably don't even know this because this person probably never even told you this. I mean, because of course. You got the King of Cups in reverse, so they was coming across emotionally unavailable. Then we got the Emperor, and you know the Emperor, he got to keep a certain reputation. You know, him being old lovey-dovey, and that's not going to work out. And then we got the King of Swords, so that shit will never, you will never find out with the King of Swords. Because they don't even know how to express themselves emotionally, because they're like a damn light switch. One minute they're on, next minute they're off. It's like one minute, you know, they're hot, they're cold, they're hot, they're cold. It's like, dude... What's up? So, most of you guys don't even know how the hell this person feels about you. You guys don't even know that this person is actually feels is very attracted to you for who you are. They like everything about you. That they're you know, like I said, they're loving it, just like the McDonald's theme song. You know, to do to do do. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's the truth, though. Let's find out about this King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. Please get more information on the King of Pentacles. They're going to want to contact you. We got the page right here. The page of wands. That's them contacting you. Um, that's them contacting you, wanting to, you know, go out with you. This is a flirtatious energy as well. The page of wands, they bring good news. So this, they could be contacting you by text or by email or calling you. But they bring good news and this is them, you know, wanting to talk to you. This is them, you know, you guys probably going out, you know, them inviting you to go out, have a good time. And we got the Queen of Cups here. And you know the Queen of Cups, she's all about love, 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 love. 
because she has lots of love to give and she has a lot of self-love. So this person's in love. They're in love. They're in love with you. Then this person's in love because now they're stepping to you as a king of pentacles. When they communicate with you, they're going to talk to you. You know, they're going to talk to you and you're going to, they may not verbally come out and say that they're in love with you. They might just express it to you through their actions. Um, for some reason, I really don't see this person actually coming out verbalizing, I love you. I see them more trying to show you that they how much they care about you through their actions because at, at the end we have the six of the six of wands here so this is going to be a victory here because th this is going to be a victory because this person you know they want your attention this person they want attention they want your attention because that's why they're going to communicate with you because they do love you i don't for some of you guys this person might actually verbalize it but for some of you guys they may not They'll probably just show you how they care. You know, action speaks louder than words. They'll probably do that versus saying it. Especially if you're dealing with an air sign. Because we do have uh, Aquarius here. We have the Emperor here. And they're not good when it comes to them being all cheesy. Yeah, that's not them. That's not their style. That's not them. So, and you guys, so... So this person is going to end up, ver and it's going to win. You're going to have a victory out of this. There's going to be a victory out of this. So this is good. And let's find out about the Page of Cups here. Please get more information on the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Please get more information on the Page of Cups. Please get more information on the Page of Cups. Please get more information on the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Please get more information on the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Please get more information on the Page of Cups. Please get more information on the page of cups. Please get more information on the page of cups. They want to talk. Look, the page of cups. I said cups. Page of cups. Clarifying the page of cups. They're gonna. They want to make an offering here. You want to know why? Because they're in love. What I just said. They're in love. They, this person is in love with you. They're in love with you, and they want to start talking to you again. Look. This time around, they want to invest in you. Because look, this time around, they want to invest. Because this time, they're coming in with an offer of love. Because they're actually in love. Like I said, some of them may not verbalize this. They'll probably just show you. Because now they want to start talking again. And there you go, Virgo. Showing up in your own reading. The hermit. You guys are showing up in your own reading right here as a hermit. But in reverse. So this person is going to start talking to you. So some of you guys, you guys probably already started talking. For some of you guys, you guys haven't been talking yet. So, you know, because everybody's in different wavelengths. So not everybody has started talking. But this person is going to start communicating with you because they want a new beginning with you. They want a new start. We got the world right here. This is a whole entire new world because they're in love. So you, some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. In Aqua I mean, yeah, well, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Leo. Well, one of the four fixed signs. You guys could be dealing with another Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Aries, a Leo, Cancer. Who else do I see? Uh, Libra. Who else am I seeing here? Aquarius. I already said Aquarius. Who else do I see? Here. Uh. So far, that's all I'm seeing here. Other than that, you guys could be dealing with anybody. Anybody. You guys could be dealing with anybody here. This person wants a whole entire new world. Look at the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. We got the Wheel of Fortune. This person wants a new beginning. So things are starting to turn, and it's going to turn within your favor. Yeah, because look, remember at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. This person wants to come out from the cold because they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. This person wants the Ten of Pentacles, and there goes the Page of Wands again. Communication. Okay? So, 
Virgos, this is a really good reading. Hopefully it happens for all of you guys. When it's going to happen, I do not know. I could guarantee you it's not going to happen no time soon as long as this coronavirus is out. And if you guys want to meet up with this person, I suggest you guys keep your happy ass happy ass in the house and stop, you know, and don't go out. So like that, this virus can end and people go start going back out again and start going out, going shopping, going to the mall, going to the bars, having a good time, hanging out with your friends. So, and so like that, you could meet up with homie right here or homegirl, whoever, with your boo. You can meet up with your boo because as long as, uh, this coronavirus is, is out there. You're not going to be meeting up with your boo no time soon. If anything, you guys are just going to be talking by text. And that's it. <clears throat> you're not going to be meeting up. So if your happy ass wants to hook up with, that, with your boo, I suggest you keep your happy ass at home. So you can hook up with your boo. And when you guys hook up, you could probably get some. Just keeping it real. You know it's the truth, though. You know it's the truth. But anyways, let's get you a guidance message. Please give me a guidance message for Virgo. Please give me a guidance message for Virgo. Please give me a guidance message for Virgo. What we got here? Responsibility. Take responsibility for your own happiness. There you go. Take responsibility for your own happiness. And you know how you do that? By keeping your ass at home. So like, so like that, the virus could end and you could start going out so you can meet up with your boo. That's how you take responsibility. Okay, so this is all I have for you. You guys take care. Be safe. Wash your hands. And while you're at it, wash your ass at the same time. So, and be safe. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, stay cool, Virgo. Bye.